greetings and welcome to this Igbo class please if you are just joining us for the first time on this class click the subscribe button the essence of the subscription is for you to get notification whenever there is an ongoing class so you don't miss out on any class without wasting most of your time you shall go straight to the topic so the topic we should be talking on today is called Atumatu Oku na Atumatu Agumago Atumatu Oku na Atumatu Agumago which is figurative speech and figurative literature in English figurative speech and figurative literature Atumatu Oku na Atumatu Agumago bocha okunka ndi ode na oku uji ache demede na ekume okunka di omimi mma atumato oku na atumato agumago bocha okunka ndi ode na oku uji ache demede na ekume okunka di omimi mma figurative speech and figurative literature are literary words the writers and narrators uses to make his writing or narration more interesting figurative speech and figurative literature are those are literary words the writer and the narrator uses to make his writing or narration more interesting we shall be taking on the definition of M. N. Anjo, 1986 for this atmato Emenanjo 1986 kọwara atumato agumago deka aha nke nke jikoro umu obere ọdị na ala ndị ahụ ndị edeme ede mma Emenanjo 1986 kọwara atumato agumago take note atumato agumago not atumato oku okọwara atumato agumago deka aha nke nke jikoro umu obere ọdị na ala ndị so he explained figurative literature as short names which qualifies those small tradition which the Igbo uses to make their narration or writing interesting. He explained figurative literature as short names which which qualifies those small tradition which the Igbo uses to make their narration or writing interesting. Ode Atumato Agumago Dijiche, that's types of this figurative literature. Ode Atumato Agumago Dijiche, types of figurative literature. We have Ilu, which is proverb, Asinilu. Wellerism, Okabuilu, Parable, Soromchia, Jokes, Agogwa, or Gwangwangwam, Riddles, Okuntuhi, or Oku Mbawano, Tongue Twister, Ilu, Proverb, Asinilu, Wellerism, Okabuilu, Parable, Soromchia, Jokes, Agugwa, Gwangwangwam, Riddles, Okuntuhi, or Okumbawan, Tongue Twisters. So we shall be taking them one at a time in order to understand them more. Ilu, Proverb. Ilu bu oku o mimi eje akawa ihe di okempa. Ilu bu oku o mimi eje akawa ihe di okempa. Esi ni ilu ezi pota mkwe nye ndi ibo. E chiche. Nsele honde na omena ala ndi ibo di chiche. Esi ni ilu ezi pota mkwe nye ndi ibo. E chiche. Nsele honde na omena ala ndi ibo di chiche. Ezi bo nye ibo obola choro ibu oku. Oka chasi ndi oke ene eji ilu ibu oku. Ezi bo nye ibo obola chori ibu oku. Oka chasi ndi oke ene eji ilu ibu oku. Opu ya kwa tara achebe 1958 chile sena 
ilubo mmanu ndi igbo ji eri okwu obu ya kpatara achebe 1958 jere se na ilubo mmanu ndi igbo ji eri okwu proverb is a deep word used to explain an important discussions as ilubo okwu mi meje akowa ihe di oke mkpa proverb is a deep word used to explain an important discussions esi ni ilu eziputa nkwenye ndi igbo the various beliefs nkwenye is belief Etiche, views or thoughts, ideas. Nsire honde, views. Etiche, thought, idea, nsire honde, people's views. Na omenala, and traditions of the Igbos are displayed through proverb. The various beliefs, views, and traditions of the Igbos are displayed through proverb. A true Igbo man, especially elderly person who wants to talk, must speak with proverb. Ezibo nyi Igbo obola chori ikuo kwa kachase ndi oke ene e jilu e kuo kwa. A true Igbo man, especially elderly person who wants to talk, must speak with proverb. This is why Achebe 1958 said that proverb is the palm oil the Igbo uses to eat word. Ilu bu manu ndi ibo ji eri oku. Proverb is the palm oil the Igbo uses to eat word. Take note. Ulu, ilu bara. Uru, ilu bara. Importance of proverb. Eji ilu ezi puta omena ala ndi ibo. It is used to show Igbo tradition. Ilu ne eme kama du che mie chichi ime. It makes one to think deep. Ilu de eme kama de che miye chichi ime. It makes one to think deep. Ndi ibo ji ilu eti harindi abu hondi ibo anya. Ndi ibo ji ilu eti harindi abu hondi ibo anya. The ibos uses proverb to confuse non-ibos. The ibos uses proverb to confuse non-ibos. Umu waka ne si teni ilu amota otutu ihe. Umu waka ni si teni ilu amuto otutu ihe. The children learn a lot of things through proverb. The children learn a lot of things through proverb. Ndi ode ni eji kali ilu e nyaku kwa ha aha. Ka isi hako. Dara na ala. Ukwala uboko bu. Mwata rie awo. Okoko. Basa ubesi. The authors gives their book title through proverbs such as Isia Kudaranal. Ukwalo boko buru. Patariye awo. Oko kubasa obesi. ETC. That is Drega Wazia. Oku achohe ba hakbonkwe. Eji ilu ebuya. Dika ogana achelo wain. Ogana etuzi ese ni oku. Oku achohe ba ha onkwe. Eji ilu eku ya dika uga ana achi elu wain. Uga ana edozi ese mwo. Where's that one do not need to make mention of? Proverb is used to explain it. Such as dream marriage rights during this foot resolution. Where's that one do not need to make mention of? Proverb is used to explain it. Such as dream marriage rights during dispute resolution. Eji ilu enye maden do modo. Eji ilu enye maden do modo. It is used to advise someone. It is used to advise someone. Omuma atu ilu di iti iti. Omuma atu ilu di iti iti. Examples of various proverbs. Ukwa roge ya oda. Breadfruit falls at its own time. Okwa roge ya oda. Breadfruit falls at its own time. Mwata riye ya wo ojo anu. When a child eats frog, the child rejects meat. Mwata riye ya wo ojo anu. When a child eats frog, the child rejects meat. Isi hako dara na ala, ede tu la aja. The head of palm fruit that fell on the ground has touched death. Isi hako dara na ala, the head of palm fruit that fell on the ground has touched death. Dim bata ako, 
ahun ichere ya. Dim bata ako, ahun ichere ya. When a real man eats kennel, you will see the shell. Nki tari chensi, eze erewe u. Nki tari chansi, eze erewe u. When dog eats shit, goat teeth decays. When dog eats shit, goat teeth decays. Mwe hi se burala, onwone yara. Mwe hi se burala, onwone yara. When calf kneel down, he will suck the cow breast. Or when calf kneels down, he will suck the mother's breast. Oye bataran kwa huu si mwere biara ya oru. Oye bataran kwa huu si mwere biara ya oru. He who fetch ant infested firewood is inviting the lizard for a visit. He who fetch ant infested firewood is inviting the lizard for a visit. Mwata pocha haka osoro gara nyari enri. Mwata pocha haka osoro gara nyari enri. When a child washes his hands, he will eat with the elderly. Aka weta, aka weta, ojua. When hands bring together, it will fill mouth. Aka weta, aka weta, ojua. When hands bring together, it will fill mouth. Oye ba bol oracha oroma. Oye ba bol oracha oroma. When one play football, he licks orange. When one play football, he licks orange. Berede yiri dike. Berede ke eji ama dike. Surprise or suddenness supersedes a man, but that is when a real man is known. Surprise or suddenness supersedes a man, but that is when a real man is known. Asinilu, welerism. Asinilu, welerism. Asinilu, bu mken ka koko esina ya ezikute chiche diyo nini. Ane emwe oye mwabu ihe abora hano abu ya sere. Asinilu bu mken ka koke sinaya ezi pute chiche diyo nini. Ane enwe onye mwabiha bora hana wabu ya se. Wale rizim is a short story that is used to express deep thoughts. There is always a person or something whose name is attributed to a saying. Wale rizim is a short story that is used to express deep thoughts. O bu mken ke akoko e sinaya ezi pute chiche diyo nini. There is always a person or something whose name is attributed to a saying. Anna enwe, onye mwa wiha, bora hana wabuya se. For example, o mwuma atu, o kwa siru omu ya, ha toro tuji, na ha toro to, mborogo. Kwa oga abu, onye mwe jiguru ya, ha toro wa mborogo. O kwa siru omu ya, ha toro tuji, na ha toro to, mborogo. Kwa oya abu, Oye mweji guru ya hatoro wa mborogo. Kwe ube say to her children, when you peck on yam, you peck on roots. So that when the farmer harvest his yam, you can peck on roots. Kwe ube say to her children, when you peck on yam, you peck on roots. So that when the farmer harvest his yam, you can peck on roots. Chin che si omu ya. Ha unwe ndi di na ihe di oku ge eme cha juo yi. Chin chi si omu ya, ha unwe ndi di na ihe di oku ge eme cha juo yi. Bed bog say to her children to be patient that what is hot will surely get cold. Bed bog say to her children to be patient that what is hot will surely get cold. Mwa ta kwa cha haka, usoro ganya ya reni. Oku kwa se na ihe ya ji, kangu mmiri, ele ya anye elu bona, obu ne elu ka, ongu gebu ya, ge sibya. Oku kwa se na ihe ya ji, kangu mmiri, ele ya anye elu bona, obu ne elu ka, ongu gebu ya, ge sibya. Fawk said that the reason why he drinks water and look up is because what we kill him comes from above. Fawk said that the reason why he drinks water and looks up is because what will kill him comes from above. Onyara sina ihe yaji eku otutu oku buna yane eku ozo, ozo, anabata yon. Onyara sina ihe yaji eku otutu oku buna yane eku ozo, 
also an avatar on madman said that the reason why he talks much is that as he is talking more talk is will be coming madman said that the reason why he talks much is that as he is talking more talk will be coming this this asinilu if you listen to these examples that i just read out now you will note that whenever an asinilu statement is being made you hear that so 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 person said so so thing said like okoko sere onyara sere madman said that is the statement of this asinilu anenwe onye or ndi akuru na osiri there is always a person or something that this saying is attributed to that is how the statement of this asinilu is ukabilu parable um, some of us might be aware of this parable like some christians you can hear the parable of the prodigal son and the parable of the virgins in the bible so ukabilu bunken ka akoko di omimi ndi igboji egwu ukabilu na eto ogologo karia ilu na asinilu ukabilu bunken ka akoko di omimi ndi igboji egwu ukabilu na eto ogologo karia ilu na asinilu it is a short deep story the ibos uses to talk parable is longer than proverb and wellerism it is a short deep story the ibos uses to talk Parable is longer than proverb and wellerism. Omuma has to carry this example of this proverb. Ihi bi di anyaro abuhe na obukari ihe ane ebudi isi kama na ebo di abuhe ebo na abuhe di demo ke ojana atoya. Ihi bi di anyaro abuhe na obukari ihe ane ebuni isi kama na ebo obdi abuhe ebo na abuhe di demo ke ojana atoya. Swollen scrotum is heavy, not because it is heavier than load, rather its position is not funny to man. Onya arasu nyere beya wako na apu apu. Ndi hori ajuru ya, gini ne eme beya. Osi ha na ya apu ala, nka ahu were ne eme. Onya arasu nyere beya wako na apu apu. Ndi hori ajuru ya, gini ne eme beya. Osiha na ya apu wala nke ahu were ne eme. A madman set his home on fire and left the house. When he was asked what is happening at his place, he said he had left home before it starts happening. If you listen to this example, you see that it is longer than proverb and wellerism. It is a short story that is longer than proverb and wellerism. Mbi doro ne ya kananti si ya, enye kwa na ya nkbari, ni ihe na, okbari ya yobo chozo, ye gusi ya na ya abu mwoke. Mbi doro ne ya kananti si ya, enye kwa na ya nkbari, ni ihe na, okbari ya yobo chozo, ye gusi ya na ya abu mwoke. He go towards his mother, good. He go towards his mother, good, not to insult him again, if not, he will show her that he is a man. Sorum chia jokes. Sorum chia jokes. Nka abu wanke nka kona bakari mado oche. Manango taya na adi omimi. Echi che oni iwe puta na bukari mba oche. Nka abu wanke nka kona bakari mado oche. Manango taya na adi omimi. Echi che oni iwe puta na bukari mba oche. This is a short story that sounds funny. But its understanding is deep. It is a short story that sounds funny, but its understanding is deep. Omuma at his example. Otu mwoke na aganjem, putebe ndi uwoji ne chenche. Hako sere ya, wayaka omepe ebe anadonyi ibu nubwa ala ya. Kwa omepe re ya, hako robe la abadi na ya, juwa ya iwe ubu. Ozaha na obo toilet bag. Onyi uwoji ile baranya na ba usia na ncha diya, obo diya, ude diya. Kedu kwa no toilet paper, ebo u toilet bag. A man is going on a journey on getting to the police checkpoint. They stopped him and commanded him to open his car trunk. When he opened it, they saw a small bag and asked him 
but is inside. He replied that it is a toilet bag. A policeman looked inside the bag and told him that there is that soap is inside, sponge is inside, pomade is inside. So where is toilet paper since it is a toilet bag? A man is going on a journey on getting to the police checkpoint. They stopped him and command him to open his car trunk. When he opened it, they saw a small bag and asked him what is inside. He replied that it is a toilet bag. A policeman looked inside the bag and told him that soap is inside. That is Obodia. That is Nchadia. The soap is inside. Obodia. Sponge is inside. Ude dia. Pomade is inside. Pomade is Ude. So where is toilet paper since it is a toilet bag? Can you want toilet paper above toilet bag? Wang 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 or abuwa redo. Wang 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 so no to ihe gure gu o ma aka ji enwe anore. O na eme ka ha na eche mi echi chi ime ma sikwa na ya na amota asusu na odi na ala igbo. Wang 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 nwere odi abuo. Redo is one of the play children uses to have fun. It makes them to think deep and also to learn the tradition of Igbo, the tradition and language of Igbo. This riddle is of two types. It is of two types. Toss, habu, they are guang 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 ajua aza enigmas and guang 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 eku aza conundras. Guang 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 ajua aza enigmas. And one 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 equal as a conundra. Omumatu. One 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 adjo as a examples of enigmas. Gwami hebere eze jiri. Rachanto. Ube. This type of radio is a type of radio that a question will be asked, then the second person will answer. It is a form of question and answer radio question and answer riddle. But this conundra here is a kind of song riddle. It is sound like a song in the sense that the things that are rhymed together will be saying we will, will be calling they will be calling the names of animal that are related to each other. When they not call an animal that its feature or characteristics is different from those animals that are related, nobody will reply. Anybody that replies automatically fails the answer to the question. That is how this conundra is. So as we go further with the explanation, you get to understand it better. But should in case, if after my explanation, you are not able to understand, that is the essence of this English translation. You can always go to Google to read about the English meaning of this word to understand it better. Omuma to wangwangwam adwaza. Gwami heme reze jiri. Rachantu ube. Tell me why the teeth lick ashes. Pie. Gwam uji bere jesu ago. Gwam uji bere jesu ago. Ogo. Tell me what walked around the farm with knees. Who? Gwam aboho arano. Ikwe. Gwam aboho arano. Ikwe, tell me a young girl with four breasts. Mota. Tell me a young girl with four breasts. Mota. Gwam ukorocha aneli naja uzuzu. Imi mwabu ukwara. Tell me a young man buried in dust. Mukus. Gwam umu nabuwa iho bodobo iho bodobo. Eli gwanala. Tell me two siblings with big faces, sky and earth. 
gwangwangwam ekwu aza konundor nka abu gwangwangwam ana agu ke ekwu mana ekwe ya ku ukwe mba ana aza ya aza obu na ihe akpara aha dabara ndi ozo ga aza gachi ma obu na ihe akpara aha dabara oyo obu na ge mechon oyeza amana oda alaya this is a type of radio which is sung like a song when asked and answering if the if the question asked rhymes if the question asked rhymes everybody will answer but if not nobody will answer whoever that answers has failed the riddle nka abu gwangwa ngwa ma na agu ke ibu ma na ekwe ya ka ukwe mba ana aza ya aza it is a type of riddle which is sung like a song when asking and answering obu na ihe akpara aha dabara ndi ozo ga aza gachi if the question asked rhymes everybody will answer mana obu na ihe akpara aha daba onye obula ga emeju on weza amara na oda alaya but if not nobody will answer whomever that answers has failed the riddle a moment is example ola anu na nko na nko na nko that's which animal has wings 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 ola anu na nko na nko na nko ola anu na nko na nko na nko this na nko na nko is the reply to that this question so why they are singing it all animals will be wings will be now we mentioned they will be calling out animals with wings immediately they make mention of animals that do not have wings everybody just keeps quiet whomever that answers has failed the question ola anu na nko na nko na nko ijiji na nko na nko na nko egbo na nko na nko na nko okuko na nko na nko na nko anwo na nko na nko na nko ngwere na nko na nko so immediately they mention this ngwere na nko you have to keep quiet because lizards do not have wings if you look at these animals that are mentioned here fly house fly it has wings kite it has wing fowl it has wings mosquito has wings but lizard do not have wings the same thing with here ola anu nampi 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 that's which animal has horn 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 ewu nampi 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 ehi nampi 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 ebile nampi 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 atolu nampi you keep quiet because sheep do not have horns oku mba won mobu oku ntuhi tong twister oku mba won mobu oku ntuhi tong twister ana enwe mkpuru uda asu iru onwe ha na oku mba won ana enwe mkpuru uda asu iru onwe ha na oku mba won ana ekukwa ya ose iso umaka fi ya amu oku there are more things that are similar to each other in tong twister they are pronounced fast children learn words with it example woka kwa kobo 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 ana meria agwa na aro agwa na agbanyere agwa no de nuku ana meria agwa na aro agwa na agbanyere agwa de nuku so you have to say it fast if you look at if you look at this example here kwa woka kwa kobo this kwa here are words that are similar to each other this ana meria agwa na aro agwa na agbanyere agwa de nuku this agwa agwa that appears here are the similar words you have to pronounce it so fast atumato oku di chiche various figures of speech atumato oku di chiche various figures of speech we are done with various figures of language or literature atumato agumago figures figurative literature figures of literature we are done with that so we are going further to figures of speech the one the first we shall be treating is mboro which is metaphor mboro metaphor mboro go atumato oku eje asi na ihe bu ihe ozo mboro go atumato oku eje asi na ihe bu ihe ozo this is a figure of speech that is used to refer to something that is not due to direct similarity between the phrase used and the things described it is used to say that this one thing is another thing one thing is another thing 
the each word each word is bo bo that is is that is the the phrase that is used to make this mboro sentence is that's bo for example ifoma bo edi ifoma bo edi ifoma is millipede this bo is the mboro in this sentence that is 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 the metaphor oge bo is oge is pig bo is maduka bo mbe maduka is a tortoise reason is because this may be if former behaves like millipede that is why they now say that if former bo a d that if former is millipede or oge maybe oge is someone that is always dirty she or he is a dirty person so they now referred or directly compare as with pig that is egg bo is okay is pig or maybe maduka is a corny person so they now refer directly qualify maduka with mm, that's tortoise because according to Igbo folk tales tortoise is the most wisest animal Yiri similar Yiri similar Eji ka ego si na ihe yiri hozo ani eji ka mobo deka iziputa ya Eji ka ego si na ihe yiri hozo ani eji ka mobo deka iziputa ya It is used for comparison between one thing and the other The phrase used is like or as it is used for comparison between one thing and the other. The phrase used is like or as omomato. Example, che de lolo ogo kago, che de lolo ogo kago, che de fort like lion, che de lolo ogo kago, che de fort like lion. Ne ya ne meka ngoke, ne ya ne meka ngoke. The mother behaves like a man. The mother behaves like a man. Okay, okay, the kiriri. Okay, okay, is like rope. Okay, okay, the kiriri. Okay, okay, is like rope. And that the kanaya, and that is like her mother. Ka, like dika, is like. Let's see another on a matopia. Obu ko oku si ada ke si eji uche awata mputara oku ha. Obu ko oku si ada ke si eji uche awata mputara oku ha. It is from the sound of the word that one understands the meaning of the word. This onomatopia is a kind of giving sound to things that do not have sound. That is using sound to qualify something that do not have sound. That is this ancienota. Onomatopia. It is through the sound that you understand the meaning of the word. The word do not have sound, but it is described or explained using sound. For example, ezem ni mumba, ezem ni mumba. My teeth shines ba. Teeth do not have sound, but this ba is used to qualify how neat and how clean, how sparkling the teeth is. That is using sound to explain something that do not have sound. Untu tu isi ego di yore. Untu tu isi ego di yore. Ego's hair is yore. Hair do not have sound. But this yore sound is used to explain how twisted and relaxed the hair is. Aya neke. Aya ya neke zizizi. His eyes shines zzzz. Mbiambia mbochume alliteration. Mbwe otu mbochume potara otutu ebe no oku. Aboya mbiambia mbochume. Mbwe otu mbochume potara otutu ebe no oku. Aboya mbiambia mbochume. When one consonant appears many places in a sentence, it is called alliteration. When one consonant appears many places in a sentence, it is called alliteration. A moment. Ekwe ekwe ne ekwe nu te ekwe re. Ekwe ekwe ne ekwe nu te ekwe re. This kwe, kwe, kwe. 
is the consonant in this sentence. So it appears like many places, one, two, three, four places. Why in our quack? In our quack, no coquilla, one ill up, we quarrel, what did they look? Why in our quack? In our quack, no coquilla, one ill up, we quarrel, what did they look? Why in our quack? In our quack, no coquilla, one ill up, we quarrel, what did they look? These words here can also be used to form a tongue twister that is open to him because it's rhymed and it can be said fast, very fast. Papa Pita Patrapo, Papa Papa. Papa pita patra papa 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 pita patra papa 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 pita patra papa 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 this p p p here is the alliteration mbia mbia odaume assonance nka abebe otu odaume na ada puta otu oge na oku it is similar to that of alliteration but the difference here is that this one is all about consonant while alliteration is vowel sound so it is um, similar whenever you see a sentence whereby a um, vowel sound appeared the many times in a sentence you know that it is assonance but if consonant sound appears many times in a sentence you know that it is alliteration for example this e e e e here is the vowel sound that is odaume it appeared different places in this sentence that is bo that is o o o o is the vowel sound here o that is obubo bo ahoho horo ahoho naya o o o Memado personification. Memado personification. Memado bueba ne were he had the hindu kagasena or the hindu deka. Memado bueba ne were he had the hindu. Ebe ane were he had the hindu kagasena or the hindu. This is giving human characteristic to an inanimate things, such as is giving human characteristics to non living things. Referring to non-living things as if it has life in it. It's as if it has human attribute. For example, that is such as this example here in Jem Corona ba Corona se mba China bata ala Nigeria. Nje Corona Nje Corona se mba China bata ala Nigeria. The disease of Corona came or migrates from China to Nigeria. The disease or the journey of corona disease which migrates from China to Nigeria. Coronavirus is not a living thing. So how do how can coronavirus move or undergo a journey? You understand that is giving this characteristics of a human being that it is only a human being or a living thing that moves or migrates or transports itself from one country. To another one place to another and not a non-living thing but the, this statement this example here the statement is sounding as if coronavirus is a human being on right cherry slaps cherry cannot slap a human person it is not a human being but from the statement it is being given a feature of slapping as if it is a human being that is this personification giving a human characteristic to an inanimate thing i go to put around them mad easy hunger brought them outside or pursued people outside hunger pursued people outside nkusara apostrophe nkusara apostrophe Nkusara be kwa ihe enwe he ndu oku ka aga se na ona anu ihe. Nkusara be kwa ihe enwe he ndu oku ka aga se na ona anu ihe. This is when one talks to an inanimate thing as if it hears what one is saying. This is when one talks to an inanimate thing or a non-living thing. 
or a non-human as if it hears what one is saying for example ima hatu mmiri chere kachije etu pizo we mmiri chere kachije etu pizo we rain please wait till night fall before you fall wait please wait till night before you fall please don't mind this my typographical error here there is supposed to be t here and before you fall am biko acha bukwalam am biko acha bukwalam son please do not kill me son please you be so when someone is talking to an inanimate things a non living things as if it is hearing what they are saying someone can just decide to come out under the sun because the sun is too harsh the person will be like son please do not kill me mapa mina uroku pun uroku pun nka abi ikpo ihe ufodo aha ozo ka me ikpo ha ezigbo aha ejimara ha nka abi ikpo ihe ufodo aha ozo ka me ikpo ha ezigbo aha ejimara ha ndi igbo kwere na mbo ufodo akpo ihe aha akpo ihe aha ihe ahu apota mobu ihe oje eme ndi igbo kwere na akpo ihe aha ya ihe ahu apota mobu ihe ojo eme this is when we call something another name instead of its original name the igbos believe that sometimes when you call something its name that is its original name a thing will appear or something evil might happen the igbos believe that that when you make mention of a something an animal or in an evil something the person might decide to to appear or something bad might happen for example anweriri gbafere ba anweriri bu agwo instead of calling agwo gbafere ba you will be like anweriri gbafere ba root anima just passed that is using its nickname instead of its original name to make mention of that anu eriri gbafere ba rope animal just passed abu abu he abu abu he positive negativism ani eji he adehe mma abu abu he positive negativism ani eji he adehe mma egosip ti he de mma no de atupatu okwa ani eji he adehe mma egosip ti he de mma atumatu okwa this is when we describe something bad in a good way that is which is when we describe something good sorry when we describe something good in a bad way like using something kind of bad to describe something that is good for example ngozi magburongwe anamma ngozi is too beautiful that is ngozi fine guy ngozi is very very beautiful you are now using an a bad way to describe how beautiful how good looking ngozi is nna ya nwere ego na esisi that is the mother has stinking money the father has stinking money the father is stinking rich the father is stinking rich that is what it means nna ya nwere ego na esisi ekwu eche ozo ekwu eche ozo iron ekwu eche ozo iron ani eji ihe ozo were ekwu ihe ebu nuche ani eji ihe ozo were ekwu ihe ebu nuche this is when this is when the main meaning is the opposite of the literal meaning this is when the main meaning is the opposite of the literal meaning omumat ada abia ka noge webia oga na agbasa agbasa ada abia ka noge webia oga na agbasa agbasa ada came too early by coming at dismissal ada came too early by coming at dismissal nwa akukwa ma ezigba akukwa webia 
mwa kukoma ezi ba kwa wenwe percent na GST 110. Mwa kukoma ezi ba kukwa wenwe percent na GST 110. The student is very intelligent or too intelligent to the point that he or she got 10% in GST 110. Nhagido ku oximoron. Nhagido ku oximoron. Iha abo na arorito onwe ho kakana edekote no di atumatu oku. Iha abo na arorito onwe ho kakana edekota no di atumatu oku. This is when two phrases with opposite meaning are used together intentionally. This is when two phrases with opposite meaning are used together intentionally. Example, Osisi ahu dendo, mahu ya boronko. Osisi ahu dendo, mahu ya boronko. The tree is living, but the body is dead. That tree is living, but the body is dead. See that two contradictory words are used together. That tree is living. But the body is dead. If I embody in Fenanyaro, if I embody in Fenanyaro, if I is light but heavy, if I is light but heavy, Obo Nyezioko as he drew on, Obo Nyezioko as he drew on, he is a truthful person with his mouth full of lies. He is a truthful person with his mouth full of lies. Ebo Obo. Hyperbole. Ebo oku. Hyperbole. Ane eme. Ko oku da oda. Site ni. Ibo chanyo yanu. Ane eme ka oku da oda. Site ni ibo chanyo yanu. This is a deliberate overstatement. This is a deliberate overstatement. For example. Wani ne biara me ma. The whole world attended the occasion. That is. Overstatement, dropping an overstatement, making the word so ambiguous, so big. Wanile biara mema. The whole world attended the occasion. Omoyabo aja dinala. Omoyabo aja dinala. Her children are like sands on earth. Maybe her children is very big. You are now making the statement to be big. Isia Hakobo Aku. Isia Hakobo Aku. His head is like the head of palm fruit. His head is like the head of a baby. The person's head is big. We are now trying to make this statement ambiguous. You now say that Isia Hakobo Aku. His head is like the head of palm fruit. Adjunju Hachi. Rhetorical question. Ajuju ana aju no dia tomato ogu ana he acho osa. Obu ajuju zaro onwe ya. Ajuju ana aju no di tomato ogu ana he acho osa. Obu ajuju zaro onwe ya. This is it is a type of question which do not need an answer. It is a type of question which do not need an answer. Ima atukedo onye acho he ga fenule GST 110. Who do not want to pass GST 110? You can just decide to say It is a question that already answered itself and does not need an answer. Is there anybody who do not like good thing or who no like better thing in a pidgin English? Ana amu ake benanka. Ana amu ake benanka. Do one learn left hand at old age. The one learn left hand at old age. Ibuduoku paradox. Ibuduoku paradox. Ani eji oku dingo ringo. Were. Ani eji oku dingo ringo. Were ekuihe achoraka. Eche miye chiche nkoma. Ani eji oku dingo ringo. Were ekuihe achoraka. Eche miye chiche nkoma. Deka. This is when one makes a self-contradictory statement. Such as. Ora geju onye ora anu afo. Ora geju onye ora anu afo. The dead will be satisfied with sleep. The dead will be satisfied with sleep. Iho ke enona alawe, unwata kuroto, 
ogahi ahuya iho ke eno na ala we ho mata kwuru oto ogahi ahuya what an elder see sitting down a child will not see while standing nkuma euphemism nka abu ito okweze ya abu izi puta ihe adi hemma nuzo ka adi tumma na nti nka abu ito okweze ya abu izi puta ihe adi hemma nuzo ka adi tumma na nti the use of less offensive word to replace one which is considered more offensive it is the use of less offensive word to replace one which is considered more offensive nka abu ito okweze ya abu izi puta ihe adi hemma nuzo ka adi tumma when know that if you should say it or if you should drop the statement this way it is not going to sound well to the ear so you have to make use this euphemism to make that statement a kind of considerable and less offensive to the ear for example i got the one yeah people are like maybe it's for you to say that that old woman is dead you now say agadi nwanya ebulala akwukwa the old woman has taken the book home or agadi nwanya the old woman has kicked the bucket or hagara ihu nwanya akwebara hagara ihu nwanya akwebara maybe something happened to the woman they went to see the woman sitting by a scorpion that is they went to the toilet they went to toilet instead of you to say that they went to toilet you can now say that hagari ifunwanya ibara they went to see the woman sting by a scorpion so this shall be the end of this topic and not the end of the lectures please if you are just joining us for the first time click the subscribe button please click the subscribe button it is very very important if you have any question drop your question on the comment section if this tutorial if this lecture is useful drop a like drop a like share to your friends that you know that they are finding it difficult with Igbo language thank you so much and see you in the next class